Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Oh man, I needed that break. My excitement was just through the roof. I couldn't think straight anymore. Hit this tree, there's a star piece right off the bat. Hit this tree, there's a mushroom right off the bat. I don't know all the game's secrets like that, but I'm gonna try and find as many of those things as I possibly can along the way. Anyway, oh boy! that? Oh, is that a... Wow, Mario, look! I can't. I can't look. It's too... Oh, no. It's huge. A giant dragon flying towards a castle. How classic is that? <laughs> totally incredible. I've never seen anything that humongous before. It looked kind of scary, too. Weird. Professor Frankly said this place was peaceful. Oh, crazy! We just started and already there's a tree! Come on, Mario! Let's go! Alright, so we've got some... Odd uh, Stonehenge formation. Okay, it's not even close to Stonehenge. But there are some stones here. Ah, the Petal Meadows! A plateau surrounded by hills far to the east of Brokeport. It's mild and pleasant here all year round. I love it! Doesn't it feel nice? Oh, and hey Mario, if you eat a tree, sometimes something good falls out. I know that came out of left field, but I mean it. If you see a tree, smack it! Well, thanks for the advice, but I figured you might want to have... I figured you might have something to say about these rocks, but I guess not. Anyway, there's a mushroom! Anything in here? No. I think one of these blue hills, if I recall, reacts to something. Yeah, see these blue spiral things? Yeah, they're, I think they're hills. There's something. <laughs> the hills have eyes. But I don't, I don't really know what the heck they are. I'm assuming they're hills because there's hills like this in Super Mario World. Uh-oh. Ah! Oh! oh I, I, I hit... I swung the hammer the wrong way! How, uh, <laughs> uh... Anyway, I should probably switch over because I can only uh, destroy the spiky Goomba with the hammer. Unless I use an item, but I don't want to burn items. So you are going down with a regular hammer attack. And I switched characters because if you didn't notice this uh, while you were playing, the hammer can only attack enemies that are in front. So you can't really like... I'll show you another battle here. Come on, flop down. There you go, good boy. So, Oh, and of course, it's in the air. <laughs> How am I supposed to show this now that it's in the air? I mean, come on now. I mean, they're both in the air, I should say. Guess I'll have to show it in another battle. <laughs> yeah, I'll just jump. Get. Please do not give me another poison mushroom. Oh my god, that's not good. <laughs> well, luckily it, I didn't have to. I mean, I didn't have another action command to hopefully not get a poison mushroom there, so it's going to be reset for later. By the way, enemies can drop flowers and hearts, which recover your health and flowers, of course. Uh, whenever you see a box that has this coloration. It usually has a badge in it. I, I, I mean, I don't really recall anything that in, in, inside those boxes that isn't the badge of that color. You know, the boxes of that color. Man, I'm getting tired of my words. Uh, this close call badge isn't too bad, but at the same time, I'm not sure if it's better than the Pretty Lucky badge. I mean, maybe it has a higher chance of attacks missing than the Pretty Lucky badge when you're at lower, when you're in danger, which is at 5 HP or lower. But I, I think Pretty Lucky will end up ending up saving you more HP than anything. Anyway, I'm rambling on, so I'm, I'm just... You can do whatever you want with your badges. You can make your own strategy and stuff like that. This is just what I'm doing, basically. Um, I want what's in that box, so I'm gonna knock you out. Just so that you won't cause me trouble. <laughs> I noticed that I used my hammer out in the overworld, because if I jumped on it at the overworld, I would have taken damage via the spike, so yeah. You gotta think about the enemies before you attack them, or before they attack you and stuff like that, yeah. Woo! 69 star points! Many people's favorite number. Alright, what's in here? Oh, oh, coins! Pocket change! Oh, it's empty. It's empty, and oh, I can't get this until later. Oh, that's why I can't get it until later. <laughs> But yeah, I thought one of these hills have something. I'm gonna keep whacking hills until I find a hill that- Oh! Keep hitting this one, keep hitting this one, I think this is it. Yes! It's a horse tail! 
this recovers 3 HP. Yeah, they have stuff like that hidden all through um, the areas in this game. There's a lot of objects that you can mess around with in uh, Paper Mario games. Oh, one more thing, Mario. If you ever find yourself, like, wondering what to do, just press X and use my tile ability, okay? I might be able to look up some useful info that will help us on our adventure. Okay. So let's try that now, because she's hinting at it. The river running through here totally makes the air crisp and refreshing. Hey, and by the way, Mario, have you tried checking the grass around here? Sometimes those clumps of grass hide good stuff, so always check them with... Hey, hey. <clears throat> oh, voice cracking and mucus. Always a good combination. <laughs> uh, just checking around here to see... Oh, wait, where'd you... I didn't even notice you. <laughs> I mean, I heard the exclamation point, you know, that, that it was alerted to me, but I didn't actually see it. Maybe it was at the edge of the screen. There's always a little screen cut off. Because uh, I'm playing on a CRT TV, and yeah, it's... Uh, it doesn't show the entire picture, I guess you could say, that there's a little cutoff on the sides of the screens that I just can't quite see as much as you can as a viewer. Mm. Oh, I got lucky! That's what that badge does, that I said can make enemies miss every once in a while. And I would be smart to kill this Goomba off with the hammer, because Goombella can't really do much to it. Uh, aside from using items, but I'm not going to be using items. Gotta conserve them for something a little bit later. Or at least I want to conserve them for something a little bit later. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about attack items, obviously. Uh, I got a flower, anything, no coins, pocket change, people dropped, yes! Their droppage is my monetary gain. And there's a pipe there, will this one give me anything? No, I don't think so. Yes! I am a background object! I have always wanted to be one. I have now fulfilled my dreams. Yes. Oh goodness. I'm so happy. I can die happy now. Yeah, you need to come through here. <laughs> Little flip book to create a bridge that that switch does. But don't go back to the left just yet. No. Oh. Ho, ho. There's a star piece over here. If you went to the right, you would uh, miss out on that star piece, and yeah, you probably don't want to do that. <laughs> I mean, you'd I mean, you wouldn't miss out on it. You'd have to go back through there, which would have been kind of a waste of time to go forward and then back once you see it in the background. But yeah, anyway, let's go back to the foreground. I will miss you, background. I will miss you. Anyway, what's in here? Ooh, it's a mystery! This is a rather interesting item in that it's kind of risky to use. It can do all sorts of different effects. Oh, save uh, attack item that you get for later. This game, uh, at this point in the game, the game is going to give you a bunch of attack items because you're going to need them for something. Y you'll see why later. The game is giving you a lot of attack items as a hint for that something in the future. Anyway, welcome to Petalburg, the game's next town. A quiet and peaceful, beautiful, flowery town. Welcome, travelers. Hmm, where are you, you ask? Why, this is Petalburg. Sorry, but it's been a long time since we had visitors here. We're kind of remote. Yippity, once that dragon hook tail was spotted flying around this area, well, it didn't help tourism, put it that way. People just stopped visiting. <laughs> Dragon? Hooktail? That must be that huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. So, it's called Hooktail, huh? Ooh, scary name! <laughs> <laughs> Love her attitude. So anyway, Green Boots, have you ever heard of these things called Crystal Stars? We're on this quest for them. It's very important. Crystal Stars, you say? Hmm. No, can't say that I have. Sorry about that. I want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Really, really old. <laughs> As such, he knows all kinds of stuff we don't. Koopas of his age are, um, really smart. <laughs> anyway, that mayor lives in the pink house up ahead. You should go check it out. Pink house? Sounds totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. Got anything else to say? Visitors are sure rare here, but they're always welcome. Make yourselves at home. Okie dokie. Speaking of, I guess I'll show how the inn is now that I took some damage, I suppose. So yeah, there's inns like this scattered all through the world which you can use to recover your health, and they basically all have this sort of animation. 
Yep, he just slips right under there like the thin piece of paper he is. But a sentient piece of paper. You see, well, sir, do come back soon. But yeah, you have to uh, pay at inns, and each inn is progressively more and more expensive as you go, so they, they, they kind of do that to discourage you from going in inns too often. Yes, I did just did say in inns too often. Anyway, top of the morning, tis I, Bul Bulber. Why, I'm happy as can be. Why, simply because I'm surrounded by flowers. Well, that is pretty nice. Anyway, oh, I like that guy over there with the... Afro. You're so hooked there on your way here? Are you sure? Big old dragon? Tail like a hawk? Oh, you're super duper lucky. Super duper lucky it didn't see you. I'm not even kidding with you. If it had seen you, I'm sure I would have gobbled you up like an after dinner mint. It must have stuffed her. Must have been stuffed her. Thought you looked gross. Anyway, you were lucky. Hmm. Hey, what's up? I gotta see. I'm really hooked on playing GBA games lately. Game Boy Advance. It's a swing game that absolutely rules. It's called Fire Emblem. In game advertising. <laughs> you ever heard of it? Man, it wrecks my socks! I actually don't like the Fire Emblem games, because I don't like the permadeath thing. Anyway, I guess I'll save my game before the heck of it, and let's go see what's at the item shop. Mm, come in, come in! Welcome to Nifty Shop! Yeah, they, uh, there's a lot of characters in this game that have, uh, with a, a, like a T in their name, and it's a pun of some word or phrase or anything like that, it's very clever. What can I do for you today? I'm here to buy. Mm, yeah, I know how to do that. So let's see what he has. We already know what the mushroom and honey syrup are like. Um, Mr. Softeners might be handy for the enemies coming up that'll have pretty high defense, but I still personally think you're better off with pow blocks or fire flowers because they ha they do uh, fixed amounts of damage regardless of the uh, defense points of enemies. Oh, what, really? I'm full of items? Well, I guess I'll be storing stuff. <laughs> what What do I have here? Um, I want to show how the mystery is, so I'm going to keep that. Uh, wow, I've got a lot of mushrooms. <laughs> it's, it's very generous, and I know I'm going to get more mushrooms later, so let's, let's store some shrooms. I guess I'll store the horse tail, too, since it only recovers 3 HP. Um, nah, I could also sell some stuff, but I, I prefer to save that stuff for later, and you'll see why. So yeah, I'm going to buy a pal block, just to show you how that is. And, the, oh yeah, the Courage Shell. It can give your partner a little bit of defense, but it, it, it's, I mean, it's an okay item. But I just prefer something that's more offensive, because it, it I prefer to just wipe out enemies as quick as possible, if anything. And here's another one of those universal point boards here to tell you the prizes. They're all the same in each of the shops. That I know of. Um, oh wait, really? I can't go over this little tiny fence? Oh, invisible barricades, you are the bane of my existence. I could take so many handy shortcuts if you didn't exist. <laughs> anyway, let's see what's up here. I am General White! I'm a mom And I have lost my hopes and dreams! I live in solitude! Always! I must apologize! But I ask that you leave me alone! Well, okay. Okay, what's in here? Oh, someone's a fan of Peach. Hey, uh, well, come on in. I guess the door is open. Oh, Hooktail, it lives at the top of that old castle beyond this hummock. Have you ever... Have you heard the rumors? Some say lots of treasure is hidden in that castle. Scores of people have gone in search for it, but not a one has returned. So what do you think? You're getting scared, huh? Nah, I'll be able to take it on. Hmm... Hmm, nothing in here other than a bunch of peach pictures. Yep, he is most certainly a big fan. Perhaps he is the number one peach fanboy out there. Um, oh, okay, I want to talk to this guy. This guy's pretty funny. Ah, bonjour, mademoiselle. It's a beautiful day, no? No, 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 not you, monsieur moustache. I'm speaking to the lovely little cabbage behind you. What do you say, my pretty? Abandon this dollar, then come away with moi? Ew! Are you kidding? Ew! Nice wig, you disco wannabe! Take a hike, bows of the dork! Oh, 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 sacred blue! Such brutal honesty! Such a sharp tongue! Well, I try to treat for now. If you change your mind, Sherry, come find me. <laughs> what a total sleaze! Let's go somewhere. I, I mean, that. Oh, wrong voice! Let's, what a total sleaze! Let's go somewhere else, Mario! <laughs> there we go, that's much, much better. Anyway, I think I got all the people there checked out. So let's move on to the second area. 
There's actually only two areas to this village, if I recall correctly. This village is very nice. Clear water, clean air, absolutely delicious. But this foul hooktail had made everyone forget their fortunes. How sad. Oh, poopers, this hooktail is definitely causing some issues. Boy, the mayor has been so forgetful lately. I'm actually worried the old gipper may even forget my face on these days. <laughs> um, over here. These three are kind of interesting. Hey, hey, hey! It is us, the Happy Wonders, the Traveling Sisters 3! This village is famous for its cool, clean water, clear air, and one more thing. That big bad hooktail! We can't wait to see it! <laughs> so they are adventurers, and, well, keep them in mind. I'll, I'll just say that. <clears throat> uh, what do you have to say, Toad Wannabe? Hey, hooktail's scary, but so is the monster that lives in the fortress near Tom. I mean, normal attacks are completely useless against it. At least that's what I heard. Oh, and that's not all. Fire attacks are also useless. The very idea freaks me out. So, uh, I guess I'll actually need more POW blocks. Uh, come to think of it. Yeah. Hmm. An old stronghold called Schwank Fortress lies ahead. A stone creature lives there. At least it might live there. Its gate is to keep it out. My job is guarding the gate. <laughs> Uh, anyway, let's. I'm gonna work on the houses in this order this time because, as you've seen, the pink house was on the, the far left. Hey, since you're here, let me ask: How many people do you think Hooktail's gobbled? And all, all time, I mean, I heard a recent lunch on over man's old man Scoo, two villages over, and Coops lives next door. His father went off to battle Hooktail ages ago. He's been a missing part person. No, wait, that's not even right. A missing Koopa ever since. Hmm. So it appears that. Coop, uh, Hooktail is gobbling stuff up. Oh, was that a little skip in the game? I think that was. Oh, well. <clears throat> well, hello there. My name is Goopy Goo. It's nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, that hit those overalls. That did the magnificent mustache. You're Mario, aren't you? I've heard tales of how strong you are. If you hear that, that means you're going to challenge the monstrous Hooktail. Oh, if only Coops were as brave as you. Hmm. She seems to be a fanboy of Mario. <laughs> Um, hi there, folks. D did you come to my village to look for the castle, the treasure of Hooktail's castle? Well, that Hooktail is one tough cookie. Hmm, that's sad to hear, but I think I'll be able to manage beating him. I just have that funny suspicion. <laughs> Obviously, there's a badge over here. We can't get that quite yet. So let's go inside the pink house. Yep, it's pink everywhere. <laughs> uh, what's that? Someone there? Who is it? Who? What do you want from me? Uh, I know, you're thieves. You're an interrupt defense is all Koopa. Despicable. No, we're not thieves. No. Go to what you will. But as you can plainly see, there's nothing to steal here. Oh, I guess I have a little money. Take it, you fiends. And my antique shell, too. Just leave the photos of me and the missus. Can't do without those memories. What? Not thieves, you say? Well, what's your story then? Oh, wait, you folks looking for crystal stars? Well, why didn't you pipe up before you idiot? Maybe you just, we're just wasting time here. Your crystal stars, you say you're hunting? Um, wait, when I hear about those dang things again? Oh, got it. Hooktail. Hooktail's got what you're looking for. It's this enormous ornery dragon. Eats folks, they say. You know Hooktail, right? I may have heard the name, yes. <laughs> well, the Hooktail's brutal flyby snackings have all have us all on pin and needles. So, are you reckless fools? I mean, are you gallon heroes off to rough it up? <laughs> what, what, what? What? Hold on now. This does sound promising. What? Why, if you can rid us of Hooktail, we'll shower you with gratitude and rewards. Wait, what's that I hear? You'll accept the, no reward? I, I didn't say that. <laughs> what an unselfish man. You're noble indeed. <laughs> he can't hear a word we're saying. <laughs> yup, a good egg. Now, what did you say your name was again? Mario. Murphy? <laughs> Ooh, that's a fine name. Yes, a fine name indeed. Well, now, Murphy, it's Ma The name is Mario! I appreciate that, Murphy. They are nice eyebrows. Now, listen up. <laughs> If you're, int you're intent on going to Hookdale's castle, find the secret pipe near this village. I don't know where it's at, but I know you'll need stone keys to use that pipe. The keys are somewhere in Schwank Fortress, just past the village. Get them first. Okay. Well, let Murphy get going and take care of that Hooktail monster. 
I got anything else to say? If you're intent on going to find Hookdale's castle and find the secret pipe near here. To find the pipe, you'll need the... Nope, nothing new. <laughs> so it looks like I'm off to find the keys to get to Stone <clears throat> Hooktail's castle. In the next part. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then. <laughs>